mm, the way we look at the coal price from now until the end of the year, I think it would be still uh, very um, volatile. Uh, there'll be still market dynamics uh, where supply and demand uh, still uh, play. Um, China is the uh, one of the uh, key uh, reasons uh, for the price to come down or go up, um, mainly because uh, China is uh, uh, number one uh, importer or uh, export destination for Indonesian coal. A second one would be uh, India, um, and third one, third uh, country is. Uh, Japan yeah so uh, price is going to be still very um, volatile and for um, uh, our uh, view on the market going forward will uh, be very much uh, affected by uh, seasonal seasons uh, when it comes to uh, wet season when it comes to hot summer when it comes to cold winter that would uh, uh, give a huge impact to uh, the uh, electricity consumptions yeah, I think at the moment, I think it, uh, there is some strong fundamentals backing up the, the recent uh, uh, uptrend of the coal prices, right? I think at the moment, we like the way where it is right now. I think it's sitting at a very comfortable price for, you know, producers and, and buyers and, and traders. Uh, uh, we don't like the price surge to be fluctuating too much. So at the moment, I think uh, it will continue to remain strong at least uh, till the remaining of the year possibly till the, the remaining first half of next year, I think it will remain very strong. Actually, um, in terms of pricing, in terms of pricing, um, we foresee that there could be um, more of a short-term swings uh, of high and lows uh, in terms of the um, market. Um, overall, uh, what we see at the moment is uh, what we feel as artificially high. Um, and uh, it, sh it should be reducing because uh, given the high prices at the moment, there would be new innovative uh, incentives, uh, innovations that would um, perhaps bring down the price. For example, um, you know, um, high ash coal could be washed off and, uh, and produced as a different product altogether. So these are things that could be happening in the market uh, that could force the price down, downwards. Yeah. Yeah, so I think what we've seen over really the last six months at least is range trading in Newcastle between 90 and 110. And you know, there's been a few um, disruptions during that period of time and it's still really held that level. So I think there's support within that um, reasonably good and reasonably tight range and I'd expect it to hold in there. I think what we heard yesterday from most of the commentators was that um, demand should uh, remain robust during that period of time. And I think while there's a number of people trying to increase supply across some of the main markets, um, I wouldn't expect that to um, cause the market to tip into oversupply during that period. So I think what that means is um, prices should hold up at pretty good levels um, for that next period of time.